What's up GQ, I'm Noah Beck, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. It's actually me. Cora. Would you consider being an internet influencer a real job? <laughs> Could have asked me that a year and a half ago, and I'd probably have a different answer than I do now. Once I started to really understand and talk to some of the people that are in the industry, it is very much a real job. And people tend to clown on it a lot because it doesn't take a lot of like qualification. And you're right, I understand where they're coming from when they're working their ass off doing nine to fives, but it's very much a job and it's very much a career path. Who is Noah Beck dating? Noah Beck is dating Dixie D'Amelio. I met her at the Hype House last summer. We became really, really good friends and we became best friends and then became more than friends and the rest is history. Posted. What do you think of Noah Beck's NSFW Calvin Klein photos? I'm gonna be honest, don't know what NSFW is. Uh, like risque. Like you wouldn't be at work with your laptop open. Oh, okay. I really don't think much of this shoot because like I dance shirtless on TikTok. So like, it's nothing people haven't seen. I just didn't have bottom layers on, to be honest. Replied. Let's see some YouTube comments. Is no one going to talk about how he said 100% he would start an OnlyFans? Should I? Probably won't be seeing that from me anytime soon. If you wanna go back and look at the Calvin Klein shoot, you can. I think that's all you guys are gonna get for a while. Unless things totally go south. Replied. What is he up to now? A lot of fun things on the way. You may be seeing me on a bigger screen coming up. Not only that, you may be seeing me on a field. I may try to get back into soccer. We never know. A lot of fun stuff. S stay tuned. Next. So you're telling me if COVID didn't happen, we wouldn't know who Noah is. That very well may have been the case. Unless you follow soccer. I just got lucky, honestly. That is interesting to think about. All right, moving on to Twitter. How did Noah Beck manage to make the front cover of a high fashion magazine? It's a great question. Two question marks kind of like makes me think that he's like really curious and I almost feel attacked. Yes, I was on the cover of V Man. Very blessed to be in the position that I'm in. Noah Beck has never drank. Damn, what? That is correct, I, I have never drank. In high school, I would go out with my friends and I would see them drink and I would see how stupid they looked. And I told myself, I do not want to look like that, to be honest. I like kind of being like the dad of the group and taking care of everyone. All right, moving on to Instagram. On the scale of one to 10, how much does he miss Dixie? When I'm not with her, it's usually a 10, unless she's annoying me one day, then it could go down. She's my best friend and it just sucks when I'm not with her. Always will miss her when we're not together. Posted. Is there anything you're not good at? <laughs> I like to be humble. Humility is something that my parents always try to engrave into me. Hard work gets you a lot of places. Just remember that. My dad gave me that hard work mindset for everything I do in life. Posted. Back to Twitter. Noah Beck has his own reality show? Question mark, exclamation point. Not exactly a reality show, but I do have my own show on Awesomeness TV called Noah Beck Tries Things, and I will be filming season two very shortly, so keep an eye out for that. I'm in a reality show with the Sway Boys called Sway Life. So you can check that out as well. And yeah. What the f is Noah Beck going to bring to the Met Gala or Bryce Hall? Like what? Probably nothing. Cause I don't think I'm going to the Met Gala. So don't have to worry about me bringing anything. Next. More Cora. <laughs> um, who is better? Bryce Hall or Noah Beck? I don't know, we're both good at different things. I think Bryce is definitely a better entertainer than I am. He's very good at what he does and I think I'm good at what I do. Next. Who is the all time best footballer? This could get me in trouble. Cristiano Ronaldo to me is the best footballer of all time. But Lionel Messi is God given. My philosophy is that we stop debating and just appreciate how great they both are, you know? How do you get famous on TikTok? It's a great question. There's really no magic formula to this. Find your niche and stick to it, post consistently. The algorithm really notices that and tend to push your videos when you post consistently every single day. I would post three to four times a day and the more you post, the more one is bound to do better than the others, you know? YouTube. Noah, one of the Beck boxes making a comeback. 
hopefully very soon. As you guys know, I put together these back boxes myself, just in terms of like the distribution and getting out to you guys. That's kind of like the tricky part right now, but we're working on it. And I promise you they will make a comeback. Replied. If soccer was truly his passion, then why did he choose TikTok? Honestly, my only answer to this is opportunities that couldn't be passed up came about. It was the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life. If I would have chose soccer, I kept in touch with like my friends on my college team. They didn't start back up training until January. So like I would have been sitting at home and I'm super grateful and blessed to be where I'm at in social media. Replied. Can we talk about how impressive his performance was at the end? Sometimes players in the World Cup can't even get a penalty kick right. Whoever commented this, I love you. But keep in mind that this was edited and I can't hit this every single time. This did take multiple tries. Thank you. But yeah, th there is editing. Next. TikTok, here we go. These should be interesting. What can your fans do to support you slash make you smile? Y'all have done enough, honestly. What can I do to make you guys smile? That's what I'm trying to get at here. Posted. Do you ever see yourself playing again? Yes, I do see myself playing again. Where? Don't know. When? Don't know. I mean, that was my dream ever since I was three years old and it's still my dream, so we'll see. All right, GQ, that's it. I'm signing off the internet.